maybe eight years ago, a mom called me one day on the phone at the pharmacy and she was desperate to get her son's low dose naltrexone made locally. So she had been getting it sourced from uh, another pharmacy and it was just because it had to come in the mail and the turnaround time, it just was always notoriously late. And if her son missed a dose of low dose naltrexone, it sent him into this dark cave of a personality and, and his life. And it dramatically impacted his life, but it really significantly impacted the rest of the family as well. So this is a mom, a dad, and now this child is in his early 20s. So he's been able to dose his own. So in other words, he can actually um, use the device and squish out his own transdermal low-dose naltrexone medication and apply it. He knows exactly where to apply it. And he has, he knows if he misses a dose that he goes into this dark space, but he doesn't ever miss a dose. In fact, now he's telling his mom when he needs to get his prescription refilled. He's not quite at the point where he can call me directly, but I've met him several times and we're building a relationship. So he's still a little hesitant because he doesn't know me very well. But when mom comes in uh, to pick up her prescription, we always talk about, you know, how her son is doing, what's he doing now? And he's actually holding a job. So this is a child who very early on was definitely put in the um, autism spectrum. He was not interactive with family. He was not verbal. He did flap. And as a young child, he was very particular about what he ate. So they were very concerned about nutrient deficiencies as well, because what he would eat was pretty simple. It was just a few foods. They were of a specific color. They really didn't carry a lot of nutrient packed uh, nutrition. So they had to be very careful about how to get nutrition, decent nutrition into him because he just would not eat it. So they got a little creative. Um, we also were able to develop um, a good line of vitamins and supplements for him. So he's been our customer now for about seven, eight years. And to watch this young man literally come out of his shell, he's brilliant. He's very smart. He can whip through mathematical equations like there's no other. And now that he's able to hold down a job, he feels very empowered because he's a successful part of the community and a very integral part of his immediate family. But I'm really hoping that one of these days that he's able to come in and um, say hi again, maybe even this time without his mom. I look forward to that.